We are here in Togome for a very major event in the annals of the history of Ghanaian agriculture. The President of the Republic this afternoon is coming to cut the saw to signify the commencement of a major irrigation project in this country. In fact, for the last 30 years, this is the biggest irrigation pro project that has been undertaken by the government of Ghana. And it has a lot of significance, not only for Ghanaian agriculture, but for agriculture in the Volta region, and Volta region itself, in terms of its social economic arrangements. This is a project that was started by MIDA uh, some years ago, and they did 450 hectares, uh, but it wasn't completed. And the funding came from the US uh, government. And then so when the Ghana government realized the importance of irrigation to our development, we've been able to source for money. And then the short cutting here is to enable the commencement of uh, rehabilitation of the 450 that wasn't, uh, we're not able to use. And then adding additional 1,550 hectares, that's the expansion part. And then also, that is for the command area. We have another 100, uh, 1,000 hectares which is outside the command area, which will be serviced by pumps. So bringing the total irrigable land for this particular project to 3,000 hectares. And this is the biggest irrigation scheme that we've had in Ghana. Uh, we're spending as much as 34 million US dollars on this. This scheme is one of the four major irrigation schemes that we have in the country, namely Pond uh, Irrigation Scheme, and then Pond Left Bank, which is where we are standing now. Then we have a Tono in the Upper East Region, and we also have Via in the Upper East Region. These are the four major irrigation schemes. The project is going to have lined canals throughout, and these main canals are going to have secondary canals, uh, laterals and so on, all the way to the farmers' fields. There are going to also be roads which will connect to the communities who would work in the farm. Again, all the roads come to about 185 kilometers. And then the farms itself would also have roads connecting to them so that farmers can send inputs and bring out their produce. Your Excellency, the traditional authorities represented today are six in number. Togome traditional area, Fazeku traditional area, 
Volo traditional area, Dofo traditional area, Bato traditional area, and Mepe traditional area. The World Bank is very pleased and appreciates the opportunity to be part of this sword cutting ceremony for the rehabilitation, completion, and modernization of the Corn Left Bank Irrigation Project. The GCAP is a hundred million dollar project. In May 2018, an additional financing of 50 million US dollars was also approved, making the total commitment for this project 150 million US dollars. Your Excellency, apart from the rehabilitation of the main and secondary canals, all the schemes will be modernized with instrumentation for water control to ensure efficient utilization of the water. In addition, productive utilization of the rehabilitated irrigation schemes through investments in exportable commodities will help the country to increase its volume of non-traditional export commodities. This will certainly help to improve the trade balance whilst creating jobs which is one of the major objectives of this government. On behalf of the country director, we wish the government all the best in this important undertaking. We will continue to support the project implementing team and the Ministry of Food and Agriculture to ensure that this project is well executed. I would therefore like to commend the Ghana Irrigation Development Authority and the Ghana Commercial Agricultural Project for the professionalism that they have exhibited so far in working behind the scenes to make this onset of construction works a possibility. Mr. President, I wish to encourage GCAP, JIDA, the consultants, the contractors, the beneficiary communities, and all other relevant stakeholders to work together to ensure successful completion of the project on the schedule on schedule within 18 months, that by the end of next year, we should see this project fully completed. Thank you, Honorable Minister for Food and Agriculture. Being in the land here, surrounded by six traditional authorities, it is proper for us to have a word from them. Our traditional authorities, we are all ears. Speak to us. By the time this project is completed, this area will be a hotbed for employment opportunity for the youth. Evidently, we have already seen many able-bodied youth pouring in from neighboring towns and communities to grab some of these opportunities. Other social amenities and infrastructure benefits are all visibly over. Communities such as Tesokofa, Niflako, Tekofa, Kilakofa, Nakwe, as I'm going to cover, are getting connected to the national electricity grid as we speak. Our people are ready to work and contribute to programs being developed by the project for its smooth operation and sustenance after completion. For you, Mr. President, the Honorable Minister, DCs, and other dignitaries present, we can never say thank you enough for this project. Neither a kaka kaka, neither a we wish you a joyous visit to Togumalan. Thank you. 
the President of the Republic of Ghana and the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado. Thank you. We're gathered here today for two of them, planting for food and jobs and one village, one dam, under which we intend in real, practical, and demonstrable terms to transform the agricultural landscape of this nation. This supply will be directly available to 17 communities of a combined population of over 6,000 people. The project will also lead to the creation of jobs and in addition to the completion of various agribusinesses down the value chain. Based on a comprehensive evaluation, nine crops have been selected for cultivation under the scheme. These are rice, maize, soya bean, cowpea, pepper, okra, cabbage, watermelon, and butternut squash. We are determined to transform Ghanaian agriculture and break with the recent dismal record of decline and negative growth that has characterized the sector. That way, we can justify the huge investments that government is making in the project. And I'm now going to cut the sword for the rehabilitation and expansion of Pong Left Bank Irrigation Project. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. major intervention as far as we are concerned. It's a boost to irrigation development in the country. It will provide the opportunity for us to also add value to the produce that we have. Uh, there are a lot of facilities like warehouses, etc. to go in the project. So this is a very big project for the country. So it's going to be a major agricultural hub and a major uh, project for planting for food and jobs.